a crash or a quow or something to just let people know that um that the uh okay uh, all right so <clears throat> so now we were looking for some type of uh effects um that we can add to the beginning <coughs> So that's cool right there. So that's all we'll use. Uh, in in uh, velocity, you gotta tell the pro program that you want it to play the entire clip. So. Alright, so now I'm just gonna put that at the beginning of the track. I just want to make sure which key on I'm going to put it on C number six, C sharp six, and I'm going to play. I'm going to press R. Okay, where were we? We want to. Um, we found a an effect that we like. Okay, so I assign that to C sharp six, and I'm just going to play right at the beginning to let my fans or whoever's listening know that that's when the um, that's when the uh, chorus is coming in. So we press R to get it started, and. Okay, again, we highlight the entire track. We don't have to quantize it, we just need to uh, bounce it. So it's all on there. All right, so now, uh, I'm going to go through the same thing that I was doing for, uh, before. If you press control up, it will make all the tracks skinny. If you press, press control down, it'll make all the tracks fat, which is another really easy thing. I just like to keep the R's visible so that I can um, go back and forth, toggle back and forth between tracks. You can also use your mouse roller to go up and down. Uh, alternate 8 will get you a synthesizer rack again. A will add it and then the arrows will toggle it. And I just want to put a little, um, maybe some strings and maybe a lead. So I'm going to use, um, let's see. Uh, I don't know if it's sign or sin, but. Of course, I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. Sign to or send to, but whatever. Or plus sign or plus sin, whatever they call it. Um, I'll go over here to the windows, to the tracks, and turn it down because it gets pretty loud. I'm just going to try to find the sound to match what I'm looking for, so I'm going to press play. That's all you do, okay, to uh, add that. Okay, I'm gonna skip this part. I'm gonna continue adding instruments and stuff, and um, this part might get boring for you, so it's probably already boring. So we'll just get to uh, to the next section. 
which is uh, recording. Um, so, um, actually, I'm gonna skip you over to the next section when we when we make uh, when we make the full song, and then after that we'll go to recording. So I'm gonna stop the tape now. I'm gonna finish uh, producing the beat, and then I will get back to you. Okay. Um, actually, I don't know what's boring and what's not. So. <laughs> If this part gets boring to you, I'm going to keep playing. I did add another sound um, to the thing. I added something from Sign 2. I added a pad. And I went. Okay, so I added that. Now I'm just going to try to add some strings using Dimension Pro. When alternate eight and it brought up my synthesizer and I added Dimension Pro which is in sonar and now I'm gonna kinda keep the volume low I'm going to get rid of my uh, synth rack and then I'm gonna pull up Dimension Pro click empty program and I'm going to go to uh, Garretton Orchestra and look up string sections and try to find more hard probably probably gonna do like piccato or something and again I'm in I'm in uh, F minor the reason I know that is because I just know what's you gotta find the tone of it and then once you find the tone the tonic, you know, just take take some theory classes, okay? So let's go. a good track at all but this is just gonna help us add another instrument on there and get to the next section which is what you want all right so we're gonna let add the last thing I'm gonna add strings I'm gonna do a one chord and then I'll do a two chord then I'll do a one chord and then I'll do a uh, like a seven six or seven 